Yo, yo! What's up, everyone? How's it going? I hope well, at least, in this trying time. If you're new here, I want you to know that this is a safe space, and we can talk about pretty much anything we want to, as long as we don't poke fun at each other. I mean, I'm gonna poke fun at myself, but I won't make fun of you for making the same stupid mistakes I've made. In fact, kind of the point of this is so that you learn from my stupidity. While we're at it, why don't you go ahead and subscribe and click the bell so you're notified whenever I post a new video. You never know, the timing could be perfect and you might save yourself some trouble in the long run. So today, I'd like to talk about when things don't go as planned and specifically, uh, in my case, for the camera purchase that I initially made nine, 10 months ago. You see, I focused on all the wrong things, on all the specifications and pretty much whatever the talking heads told me to focus on. But the problem was that once I got it in my hand, that none of that mattered. What was important was how it felt and how I was able to manipulate the controls, how it worked with my body and my brain and the ergonomics of the overall design. The important thing is that you go to a store and you try out cameras, hold them in your hand, adjust the triangle, adjust the ISO, the aperture and the shutter speed. Make sure that those adjustments are easy to get to so that when you do eventually get into manual mode, you can adjust them on the fly. It's easy to use and something your brain doesn't have to fight. That will take you a lot further than worrying about a megapixel count or focus points and whatever else you could dream up. So having said all of that, I want you to make sure that you have the right gear. So even if you buy a camera because you loved it in the store and things just aren't working with that camera, don't give up on photography. Try another camera. I mean, it may cost you a return fee or restocking fee like it did for me, but I am so glad that I made the decision to go ahead and, and just try a new piece of equipment because that was the difference. And now I'm addicted, I'm hooked. I really love this art form. So don't do what I did. Ignore all those people about technical information, blah, blah, blah. They're gearheads. They're there to debate the semantics of one camera over another. But you're a beginner photographer. I'm a beginner photographer. And what's important to me is that I can use the camera to learn with. You don't have to spend a thousand dollars. You don't have to spend any amount of money. Get a camera that's comfortable for you and you will be way happier in the long run. All right, today's video is short and sweet. If you got something out of the video today, why don't you click the like button below? If you've made the same mistake or are about to, why don't you let me know in the comments and we can all learn together. If you're new here or you haven't yet, subscribe and we will continue to learn together and you can learn from my mistakes, hopefully saving yourself some time and money. All right, that's it for today. I'll see you in the next one.